Hi, it's Deborah Peters. Welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. I hope you all had a wonderful day. It's a very good time right now. It's we're walking into the last third part of the year, and this is your chance to really make a difference in your life, in your business, in your relationships, in every part of your life that is important to you. And what a better way to do that than to learn how to prime your vibration so that you can receive more, you can be more, you can allow more, you can experience more, and you can contribute more. You can be of service to others. And that really is the blessing. You know, as we go through this journey called life, we get to really look within and to do some reflective time and to decide, you know, who am I really being in the world and how am I able to serve others and help them create the life that they want to live. And that's really what my business is all about. It's, um, it's definitely what my life is about. It's the most important thing to me every day is like, how can I contribute to your life? How can I, by connecting with you, by you taking the time to be on my show and watch my episodes uh, and share and like, thank you so much. Hey, Carrie Ann, um, how can that contribute to the things that you want to create and achieve in your life? So really lovely to have you join us, Carrie Ann. Maybe just say hello, drop something in the chat, let us know where you're at, what's new with you. I know you, you have red bars, so I want to hear all about that. So yeah, drop us a message. So tonight's episode, or to, and, and I'm running out of light, so it's been one of those crazy days. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as much content in here as I can before it starts to get grainy and a little fuzzy. So this episode, episode 10, is all, all about um, priming your vibration. And what does that mean, actually? So our vibration is something that is created through our thought process. And we have absolute total and control over our vibration and what it is that we're putting out. Now, I think in some previous episodes, I talked a little bit about the, the brain syndicate and how the brain syndicate actually can contribute to the messages that you're sending out vibrationally and then what you're pulling towards you in terms of experiences. And, you know, all experiences are vibration as well. So I want to give you some clarity in terms of how to really manage this. Uh, but first, let me say hi to some people. Thank you for joining us, Jimmy and Bobby and Tony. It's great to have you with us. Go ahead, please put something in the chat. Let us know where you're at, um, where you're based, what your business is about. Maybe even put something in about what you'd like to get out of tonight's show, and I'll see if I can kind of spin the topic around to acknowledge that. Hi, Kaya. Nice to see you. So, yeah, priming your vibration. Um, it's kind of like priming a pump. And, you know, I grew up on a farm, so um, priming a pump was something that we had to do pretty regularly. And basically what it means is in order to get the pump to work, you actually had to give the pump something of what you were asking it to create for you or to pull in for you. So if it was a water pump, you had to put some water into it and actually get that rolling about and then it would start to pull in more water. Uh, if it was gas, it was the same thing. So very much a model after how the universe works because that's exactly how the universe works. The universe gives to you whatever it is you're focused on. And so if you want to prime up your vibration so that you receive higher levels of inflow from the universe, then you want to take some time on a regular basis and you want to prime your vibration. So I'm going to give you some of my key pointers as to how you can prime that vibration. And you can apply this to your health. You can apply this to your wealth. You can apply this to your love relationships. Oh my gosh, you can apply this to your body. You know, what kind of body are you creating? So let's talk about that for a little bit because my background is in fitness and health. I used to own a gym. It's how I got started in this industry. I, um, 
I just couldn't work for anyone else. You know, I really tried. I mean, how many of you can relate to that? where you've, you've tried working for other people, but when you do, you can really see how it can be made better, yet maybe they're not interested in hearing that from you because, you know, who are you to come into their organization and tell them how to make it better? Um, so I just decided to be a serial entrepreneur, and uh, I wove my way into being a business coach and a business accelerator um, which started out just really doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one personal work and then teaching um, NLP uh, practitioner, master practitioner, and trainers training certifications. I'm a master trainer. Um, and so in the, in the world of human behavior, let's talk about creating the body that you want to create. And we'll kind of chunk this down. So I, when I had my gym, it was very much a, um, my workouts, let me put it this way, my personal workouts were actually an away from process. So I was working out because I wanted my body to be different and not necessarily wanting my body to be different because um, it could be, but wanting my body to be different because I thought it wasn't good enough. There was something about my body that had to be better in order for me to be accepted. So right there out of the shoot, I'm working against myself. So I go into these workouts and I could lift a lot of weight and I had a lot of power and I had a tremendous amount of endurance in terms of my cardiovascular, but I was coming from this negative space of doing it because I thought there was something wrong with my body and it wasn't good enough. Now, when I work out, I could do the same or, or equivalent or less um, weight or less cardio, and I could get greater effects, greater results, because I'm, I'm not coming from that negative space anymore. I'm coming from a space of, I love my body, it's healthy, I'm feeding my cells loving thoughts, and therefore, when I'm working out, I'm moving toward the outcomes that I want to create with my body instead of making my body wrong, okay? So this is kind of a principle that you can use in every area of your life. Hey, Lucho. So um, I would really love it if you guys would type something in here. I'm kind of feeling lonely. Like I see all of you watching, but I want to get some engagement. So say hi. Besides, it'll bump up the viewership. If you'd help me out, that would be awesome. Say something, anything, I don't care, just say hello. Um, so this also works in terms of how you create money flow in your business, how you create loving relationships. When you come from a place of you've already primed your vibration, then the universe can reflect back to you that which you've already primed. So, um, hey, hey Kaya. Yay, I got a response, woohoo! Um, so what, what are some ways that you can prime your vibration? Well, the best way to prime your vibration is to spend some time in the morning writing out things that you are appreciative about. Now, if you watched one of my previous episodes, I talked about the difference between appreciation and excuse me, appreciation and gratitude, right? So appreciation has a higher vibrational process or energy to it than gratitude does. So I, instead of sitting down and writing about all the things I'm grateful for, um, which has inherent in it a massive away from, like I'm grateful for this because I, I got out of that kind of thing. Instead, I'm, I'm writing about all the things I appreciate so um, that might just be a sunrise. That might just be the tree outside your window. That just might be your ability to breathe today, you know, keeping it super simple, right? And so in the simplicity of I appreciate that the sun comes up for me every day. The sun comes up for me every day. My world is getting better every day because I breathe. Just making it really simple like that. Yes, you're right. I definitely appreciation, Kaya, is the key. And, and you know, I think 
I'm not going to say a lot of people don't get that because I think we all get it, but there seems to be this, um, this demarcation line between getting it and owning it, between knowing it intellectually and actually living it and downloading it and, and owning it. So remember before when I said that um, gratitude is here and appreciation is here? Well, believing something and knowing something, it's the same kind of thing. So when you believe it, yeah, okay, because that can be very intellectual. But when you own it, when you know it, it actually downloads into your heart at a heart level. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Elaine. Nice to see you. So I'd like to, to uh, suggest that what you do on a daily basis is start to make lists of things that are positive, especially lists of things that are positive that you haven't received yet. Because what that does is starts to cultivate a level of trust it starts to cultivate a level of faith. And it also starts to develop, hey Robert, um, it starts to develop a connection, um, a relationship with your inner voice. You know, I really think that, that where most people, now I'm gonna generalize, um, where most people go a little sideways in their lives, is they stop trusting their inner voice. You know, that, that intuition, that inner voice of when you were a little kid and you always knew the answer, even if the adults beat it out of you or browbeat it out of you or punished it out of you, you always knew that you knew. And then as we become grown up and conditioned with life and experiences and authority figures and, and society and the system, we, we start to convince ourselves that we don't know best, that you know some system outside of us knows better than we do. So when you sit down every day and you start to write out lists of the things that you appreciate, it enables you to connect back into your heart center. It enables you to trust your inner voice it enables you to cultivate a deeper, more reliable relationship with yourself that, you know, logic would say, go this way, but your inner voice says, go that way. You know, if you ever had that experience where you're in a, you're in a lineup and your intuition says, you know, go around this way and there's a shorter lineup, but logic says, no, if I leave my space in line, I'll lose it, right? So no, you have to learn to trust and gravitate with that inner voice. So that's probably one of the most pivotal ways that you can prime your vibration. Another really excellent way of priming your vibration is to talk out loud to yourself. And I, I do this every day, all day long. I talk out loud to myself, especially when I'm moving through something that's really challenging me. And, you know, even as a coach, it doesn't mean that there's nothing that ever comes up that's challenging me. There's always something because I'm always growing. And that brings me to another point that I just want to lay out on the table here. When you're being challenged, it's never external um, circumstances challenging you. It might look that way, but it's really your greatness, like your higher self, your greatest capacity for brilliance for in infinite growth and expansion that is challenging you. It's your inner being that knows the truth about who you are, that is saying, come with me, come be this greatness, come live this experience of joy and happiness, even if it looks like it's not gonna work out. You know, we've, at some point, there has to be this new set of choice that you stop following the, the paved road and you begin to follow the road less traveled because that's where the joy is. That's where the fulfillment is. I, you know, I, 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 I'm trying to find a way to articulate this, that it's really going to touch your heart. Okay. 
because I don't believe that life is short and I hear people talking like that all the time and it's, you know, just stop it. Okay. Just stop saying some of these things like stop saying that life is short because it's not, it's infinite. You will never cease to be, you will always be, it may not be in this body, but you will always be okay. You're not going anywhere. You might change forms, but here you are. Right. And, and another thing I want you to stop saying is, uh, it was meant to be, it's like everything and anything is meant to be you guys. It's what you create. What are you creating? Be accountable to your thinking. Be accountable to your own emotional process. Notice when you get triggered by something and notice what that trigger is. Like, how does that feel in your body? What is that trigger? You know, I'm going to tell you like all day today, I was really challenged. I could not focus. I kept going from thing to thing. I overlooked an appointment um, that I then, you know, salvaged, but I ran late for. And it was just because I had scattered thinking. So I have two choices with that. You know, I could beat myself up about it or I could go, hey, what really was that about? Like, why, why was I choosing to be scattered? What was trying to come through that was causing my scattered thinking that I wasn't listening to, that if I would have just paused for a moment and listened to, then the clarity would have been there. Hey, David, nice to see you. So, you know, I, it's, um, life is just so easy. And I had this conversation yesterday with one of my team and we were talking about how it really isn't that complicated. You know, life is really easy. And if you just let it be easy, instead of trying to control everything and always overthinking it, and just realize that there's some really simple things that you can do right now, some really basic steps that you can do every day to prime your vibration. You can get up early. Get up earlier than you've ever gotten up before and meditate and use my energy pull. Go to my YouTube channel and use my energy pull and I'll load it on here. It's Neuroengineering Institute. It's not that hard to find. You guys can do that on your own. Just go to YouTube, go to Neuroengineering Institute. I have a ton of videos in there. I have a really good meditation video. Use it, okay? And then as you use it and you master it, you don't have to use every technique in that video. I've put about five really high level techniques in there that ground you, that center you, that clear your chakras, that align your head with your heart, that dissolve any blocks to receiving. It's all in one meditation. So you could just take one or two of those and you could practice them on a daily basis. Then do an energy pull. There's an energy pull um, video in my YouTube channel as well. And when you learn to pull energy toward you, instead of going out there and chasing it down, your life will do a 180 and you'll have a completely different experience of life. So do those two things. Drink a bunch of water. You know, get up in the morning, get some water going, and just start to let your system detox and flush out. Sit down, do a meditation, write your positive aspects into a book, a couple pages. I just, this is what I appreciate. And then get your body working. I don't care if you go to the gym. I don't care if you go for a run. I don't care if you go for a power walk or a bike ride, but do something and, and really challenge yourself. All right. Just don't, you know, meander along, like get out there and break a sweat and hold your heart rate up and work your body and get the fluids moving, get your arms above your head, get your lymphatic system working, clear the toxicity out of your brain and out of your systems and out of your organs. And then, 
and then listen to something positive. So find somebody and listen to something positive every morning. Prime your vibration and do that before you enter the day, before you talk to anybody, <laughs> before you check your email, before you check your bank balance, before you look at your text messages, and please, before you get on Facebook. Um, these are wonderful um, platforms and mediums for us to get a message out, but they're not supposed to be how you start your day, okay? How you start your day is connecting to your heart, reconnecting to your soul, your spirit, dialing into the energy of the universe, and then asking the energy to bring to you your greatest dreams, your greatest goals, your greatest desires, your greatest love, and your greatest health and your greatest wealth. And keep asking, keep asking for more and ask big. Sometimes when stuff doesn't come, you've just asked way too small, okay? So that's my secret formula. I do it every day, every single day. And every day I get younger, every day I become more happy, Every day I, I feel and create and give more love. Every day I become wealthier. Every day my client base expands, my reach expands across the globe. Just keep moving forward and stop looking for someone else to come and fix things for you or stop looking for the economy. Quit paying attention to the politics. Just completely do a purge of all of the social programming and conditioning right now and create your own social program. Be the social program. Be that influencer. Hey, Jose, not just in your own world, but in the world of those that surround you. And you don't need to explain to people what you're doing. <laughs> just do it and let them watch you. Let them watch you evolve. Let them watch you thrive. Let them watch you be happy. Let them watch you and they will want to know what it is you're up to. And I'm going to tell you right now that some people are going to fall off. Your friendship base is going to change. And then you want to think about all the new people that are coming into your life that are contributing to you. You know, I have this, I have this filter. So there's a difference between people being with you and being for you. The people that are with you are there just basically when you're on a high, when you're happy, when, when you're thriving, when you're doing well, because they can feed off of that energy. Maybe they're not getting money from you, but they're getting energy from you. And then there's the people that are for you. And then there's the people that contribute to you. The people that actually are for you from a contribution perspective. What can they con contribute to you? So maybe you need to go through your, your phone, you know, maybe you need to go through your phone and see who's in there that's just with you and cut them out. And the people that are for you, maybe you need to like create a hierarchy here and just see like how for you they really are. And then create a whole bunch of space for the people that are contributing to you to actually show up in your life. And when you do the energy pull and you trickle out your energy to thousands and millions of people around the planet that can contribute to what it is that you're creating, because we are creators, then make room for those people to show up in your life and don't judge how they look. Don't judge what they drive. They don't have to show up in a Ferrari to be able to contribute to your life. Like we have been so programmed to think that they have to look a certain way and be cool or they can't possibly be a contributor to our lives and nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing. I, some of the most amazing people I have in my life that are so loving, so accepting and so generous of spirit and so supportive of me and my goals are, are people that don't even care that Ferraris or Lamborghinis or any luxury item even exists on the planet because it's not about the appearance for them. It's about who we're being at a heart level. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I want to thank you for being a part of my show. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and view. Please share. I'm sorry, it's getting a little grainy. I started way too late. I was on a, a like a call with a client that went way over time. And uh, so, but I'm here. So here you go. Love you. Stay positive. Keep priming that. Um, keep
keep priming that vibration before you launch into your day. And then let the day come to you instead of you going, like stop grinding, stop thinking you have to do massive action and effort and break yourself down to fit in because it's not true. Just set the tone and then pull it in and just make a demand. And I want to leave you with one last thing. Can't help myself. I want to leave you with one last thing. And I want you to say this with me. So I'm going to, two things. Okay, two things. Okay, just two things. <laughs> no more. So one thing is this, that um, pull into you and actually ask the universe to contribute to you. And you can say the words out loud. You can say whatever word you want to give it, God, the universe, the multiverse, you know, whatever word, I don't care. It's your belief system. And just say, please, thank you and please contribute to the creation of my goals today. Now, like right away. And then, you know, just be open to how whatever comes up, an intuition, an idea to call somebody, uh, a thought to, to email someone, don't judge it. Okay, don't judge it. If you get this message that you should go for a walk, go for a walk. Because maybe when you're on the walk, you'll you'll run into somebody or a different thought will come because it'll be inspired by the movement of your body. All right. And then number two, and we're going to leave it at this, I promise. So I want you to say this every day when you wake up out loud 10 times. And then every night when you go to sleep out loud 10 times. So say it with me now. Okay, here we go. So this is, it's all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All right. So 10 times. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Glory. Thank you. Have a blessed evening. Bye.